but Swamp Thing is a menace. I am going to be sharing with you guys three different videos. One was a major L, then two were major victories. Two were by me. The first two videos are videos that I recorded. Then the th uh, third one is from Ahmed. He used a different team than I used. So you guys, in case you maybe my teams, you don't have my teams, you might have his team and yeah, you can do whichever one works for you. So I would say right from the beginning of the match, which of the teams do you think is going to fail? Is it the first one? So I'm going to give you a preview. The first one is the League of Anarchy team that you see right here. The second one is the Batwoman, the Drowned team, the Metal team with Robin King. The third one is the Beast Boy and Black Manta team. I'm going to be having the timestamps in the pinned comment so you can yeah, skip, skip to the one you want to watch. But just let just maybe make a guess which of these three teams is going to be an L and which other two are going to be successful. I would like to, it will be interesting to see if you guys can actually guess the team that will fail against this boss. Honestly, honestly, this, this boss, he kind of took me by surprise. I knew going into the match that the boss has an evil twin, which is also a, some, a kind of menace, but the evil twin can easily be defeated. So I don't think I will call that a major menace. But why does it cause so much, pro so much problems? It causes so much problems because when that evil twin is in the match, you are not doing damage to the main boss. And guess what? The time is going. Time waits for nobody, especially against boss Swamp Thing. So if you are not fighting boss Swamp Thing, you are fighting the, the opponent or fighting the, the mini menace, you need to take care of that mini menace as fast as possible so that you can get back to fi fighting the actual boss. The issue sometimes, especially if you are using my kind of device, because of lags, the mini boss can seem somehow faster. When I say somehow faster, I mean that the mini boss, he seems to be able to auto block something like that. I know this is not for everybody. I know everybody's going to get this. I know, yeah, this is not a common complaint, but if you are expressing those micro lags, you are going to feel that the boss is much faster than you. And especially the mini boss, he likes to block a lot. And that's very annoying. It means you cannot easily take him down, which was the reason why one of my matches failed. And apart from that, if you are using if the free artifact, Zatanna's Puppet, if you don't take care of the mini boss as fast as possible, by the time the main boss comes back into the match, you've lost some of your buffs and you basically that means you are losing power. So it can be quite unfortunate. It can be really, really annoying. But yeah, two of the teams, like I said, I'll keep saying the two of the teams are going to succeed. Okay, I think the, the 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 jig is up. It's very clear which of the teams made me to quit, and it was the very first one, the League of Anarchy team. I still believe League of Anarchy team can do well. I would I would I will admit I did not play my best in that first match, and that was my first attempt. I definitely could have played better. I'm going to try that team again because I really believe League of Anarchy team without using Raven. Of course, if you use Raven with League of Anarchy team, you are going to destroy this boss. There's no even argument there. But the reason I always say this, the reason I don't like to use Raven is because using Raven costs you another team. Raven can easily be used with raiding. Raven can easily be used with King of Atlantis Aquaman. So why would I sacrifice another team just to use Raven or to just make this fight much easier? To me, it doesn't make sense. It only makes sense if you have Raven, you have League of Anarchy, maybe you've not, your Quam is still very, 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 very weak. Like maybe you have a three star Quam and three star Raiding. Okay. I guess in that situation, it makes sense that you don't want to waste Raven because you likely won't be able to one shot. Or if you have artifact that is really, really weak, then yes, you are just, maybe you are just fresh into the game. You are like Heroic 3, Heroic 4. I would understand using Raven with League of Anarchy. But other than that, if you've gotten to like Heroic 6 or 7, you should have at least one artifact between level 8 and level 10. Mine is level 9. My Sharp Scythe is level 9. So that is enough passive attack to be able to use Ray Raven with either King of Atlantis Aquaman or with Raiding. 
Anyways, that is by the wayside. You can see the Batwoman the Drown team is slain heavily. I really should have used this team initially, but I guess I, I want problems. So <laughs> I don't want peace. I want problems always. So I'm not surprised that I decided to go the more difficult route. Uh, but like I said, I will still try it because I'm a stubborn guy and I'm not going to take this L. I am going to use League of Anarchy to beat something before the solo raid is over. I have to do that. I have to do that to bring back honor to my family. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah. So clearly, uh, Batuma the Drown team works. But the only thing I will say before we get into the Black Manta peep, Black Manta and uh, Beast Boy peep, what I will say about the Batuma the Drown team is that you should not use God Killer. You guys know I love God Killer. God Killer is like easy mode with Batuma the Drown. But God Killer is better in two situations. If you are fighting a boss that has heavy damage, that does has high attack or does heavy damage, God Killer is perfect for that match because you are getting stronger off the boss's attack and the boss is getting weaker because you are stealing the boss's attack, invariably stealing the boss's damage. So in that situation, yes, use God Killer. Another situation is if you have maybe two maxed out support artifact or at least one and a half maxed out or you have a high level of attack from a high level of passive attack from your support artifacts, then yes, use God Killer. In matches where the boss doesn't have high attack and you don't have like at least one maxed out, I, mean, I even have level nine, and sometimes it's still not enough against this tricky kind of bosses, you should use the crown of Kanda Cruller. Kind of Kanda Cruella is going to give you 300% damage and it actually scales with your flooding damage. So using Crown of Kanda Cruella is the way to go against this kind of bosses that, uh, that they don't do much damage and you may not have the, a maxed out uh, passive from the solo raid specific artifact. So yes, uh, Crown of Kanda Cruella gives you 300% damage. Use that and I think you are going to find that yeah, this boss is going to be, going to be re relatively easy to beat. Uh, Beast Boy with Black Manta or Batwoman the Drown Team and you are set. Anyways, that's about it for the video, guys. What team did you use to one-shot Swamp Thing? Were you able to one-shot him? Let me know in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, smash the subscribe button and I will see you on the next one.